Hi, welcome to Shane's DIY. Uh, this is a requested video. Someone requested to find out how to have different trims in each of the flat modes. Uh, most people generally will just set an elevator to flat mix. So when you deploy the flaps, it adds some down elevator or up elevator, whatever the case may be for that particular airplane. Usually it's down elevator. Uh, but there is a way to do it with uh, flight modes. Um, I've seen a lot of people do it with spectrum transmitters. It's pretty standard on flight modes on that. But you, you basically use flight modes, and then you, you, you select that flight mode with, uh, I use my uh, SG switch for flaps. So you can change the flight mode based on what position your flaps are in. So let me do a quick setup on that and show you how I've done it here. This is just a sample model, but set up three flight modes. So let's hit model. Then we'll go over here to uh, our flight modes. And I've already created these, but I'll go through each one and show you what I did. Uh, I happen to be on version 2.8.5 of HTX. So if you're on a different version, this is going to look different, but uh, the, the functionality should be the same for most different versions of HTX, so at least from 271 up. So first flight mode is our flight mode one, or excuse me, flight mode zero. These are generally zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go to the first one. I've renamed it. You just put a name in here. If you don't have a name, it'll just say FM zero or flight mode zero. So I'm calling this flap up. Uh, nothing really else to do in here because this is your default flight mode. So this, this little uh, indicator next to the trim, what that says is uh, it's going to use trims from flight mode zero, or it's going to add trims from flight mode zero, or e when it says equals, that use flight mode zero, flight mode one, flight mode two, and there's all the way to eight. So each flight mode has its own trims if you want to use it. Um, obviously for flight mode zero, I'm just going to use zero. I'll, so I'll get into a little more detail in the next one. So there's nothing really to set up in that one. Okay, so that's flight mode zero. That's our flaps up, normal mode. Okay, now let's go out of here. Now we're gonna go to our, and we don't need to set a switch for flight mode zero because it's that's the default one. So now in here, I've renamed my name flat mid. So that's when flaps are, are uh, takeoff flaps. For the switch, SG zero is when my flap switch is in the middle. That's my takeoff flaps. So now when I've got that switch in the middle position, now on this one, see how I've got ones in all these? Then I'm using the trims from flight mode one instead of zero. Now, if you trim out aileron and stuff and rudder and all that, you probably, in most circumstances, want to use the default flight mode trims for everything except for elevator if you're just trying to do this for a flap elevator mix. So let's go ahead and change these. So aileron, let's use the the trims from flight mode zero. Throttle, most people don't trim throttle much. Rudder, so the only one I'm using for elevator is the flight mode one. Okay, so everyone, all the other ones are going to stay the same for the different flight modes. Okay, so let's back out of that. Nothing else to set in there. I got my switch. Now let's go to uh, flaps down. Okay. Now SG down. That means my switch is in this position. There's my landing flaps. I've renamed it flap down. Now let's go into the setup for that. Now currently I have it set up to use all trims from flight mode 2, which I don't really want. So let's go do the same thing. We'll set all these back to trims from flight mode zero except for the elevator okay so now elevator has got a unique trim for this flight mode back out of that now <clears throat> nothing to do in inputs this is just a basic setup um, also the uh, your mixes there's nothing to do in mixes I just have a standard setup you know with my uh, aileron elevator throttle rudder and flaps are set up to work normally. Um, I'll go in here to show you, but there's there's nothing fancy going on in here. I don't have to set anything for flight modes. Now, you have to make sure, let's go into this, uh, this configuration button here. You do have to make sure that the flight modes are enabled. I don't have to have all these on, but I do have to have the ones I'm using. It's not gonna hurt anything to leave them on, but 
if you don't have those enabled, it will not use those flight modes for aileron. So you got to leave those on. I'm just going to leave them all on. But just so you know that zero, one, and two are the only ones being used. And of course, make sure that the trim is activated so you can actually have trim for that that mix. So that's it. So you really don't even need to set anything up in your mixes or your inputs. You're just setting up the flight mode. So now let just let me display how that works. Okay. So let's say flaps are up. I'm flying around. I get some trim. Let me put my uh, trim in here. I got a trim. Let's say I got to trim it down. I'll go. I'll only exaggerate it, but <clears throat> so I got 17% trim with my flaps are up. So I'm gonna put my flaps into takeoff position. Take off flaps down. See my trim went away. Now let's say I've got to trim up a little bit, or I'll, I'll say I got to, you know, I'll trim this way. Okay. So now I got minus six. Okay. Now if I go to flaps down with the switch. Landing flaps down. See, trim went away. Now let's say I need a little bit more. There, so that's as far as I'll go. So now if I switch between flap positions. Take off flaps down, flaps up. See, I've got different trims in each flap position. So Take that's how you use flight modes down. to get unique flap settings. So you can trim out your uh, ballooning or anything that happens when you put your flaps down. Uh, you know that just uh, I, I think it's actually a pretty good way to do it <clears throat> so the alternative is to just do an elevator flat mix which is fine that's actually the way I have it on all my airplanes now but uh, I may switch over to this using the flight modes for that it's pretty cool so anyway there you have it hope this is helpful uh, if it was please hit that like button hit the bell icon to get more uh, helpful tips on your uh, RC stuff <laughs>